hey there, scribblers. We don't know what we're called yet, but we'll see. Um, right, so your team captains are going to come and talk to you about your word count and your delivery dates. So be on the lookout for that message. Um, I do not want 26 writers sending me their chapters all at one time, and I do not want to get things from different teams piecemeal. So you will have a due date to get everything to your team captain, and then uh, she will do turnaround. It might get bounced back to you, uh, might then come to me. It just depends on what those chapters look like before it goes to Micah. So it's going to be slow going to begin with. In your teams, talk about whether or not you want to set up a buddy review system. We did not put writers together. Um, I decided that we would do it much more like the UCLA uh, model where I took this novel writing course and we were obliged to give feedback. Uh, there were 10 of us in the course and every week we had to give feedback on two other writers. Um, I would say for your group, if you Put, make yourself a chart and make sure you give feedback to one other writer in your group. Keep that feedback positive. Keep that feedback about how things landed. Don't try and solve anything for another writer. If they invite you to brainstorm, that's a different matter. But mostly what you want to do is be very respectful of what they are trying to do and ask questions. That's why I spent time at the beginning of this talking about how to give feedback. So you'd be set up for that. So talk about timing when your stuff is going to be in, talk about whether or not you're going to have a buddy system within your group and how that's going to work. Um, and then what do we want to do? In order to start writing, you need to know several things. You need to know how the end of book six is going to work. What is the final goal? Then you also need to know how does the end of book one work? What happens at the end of book one? And what happens at the end of book two? We decided to go that far because it's so difficult to write a six book series plan. Um, I would like to see your plans before you start writing. So my suggestion is that you work out what is the end of book six, uh, what is the end of book one, the end of book two, and then possibly what you want to do with your one sheet per character per book you want to plot out with your team working together you need to plot out the tra trajectory I can say that word for an entire book and then have it come to me um, do you all know who your alpha protagonist is uh, this was a phrase that I came up with yesterday. I'm realizing that we're building something together here as we find our way through these things. Um, in the sheet that I made that was based on uh, Take Off Your Pants that we've been calling a character sheet, but in fact is a plotting sheet, um, there are some things that are missing. And what you need in there on that sheet, so you're reminded all the time, you need to know what the theme or goal of your series is. Uh, you need to know what the premise of your series is. And you also need some kind of column that tracks the date. So I know that you have started working on timelines. So even though your characters are in different places, if Mount, Vesu Mount Vesuvius, it's late. I was up very late last night working. If Vesuvius blows, we can't have different dates for that. And we can't have the impact of that felt differently um, because of time. We can because of wind and we can because of temperature conditions and we can because of uh, depression in the air but we can't actually have the date be wrong so there are going to be certain key points that happen that all of you need to track even if you're writing from different continents say for example um, so back to do you know in your series who your alpha protagonist is I can tell you for any series how to work out who your alpha protagonist is. If you, for example, take all of the characters that you have already started working on. So let's say you've got five writers in your room and each of you has started outlining their, ca their character. You know what that character's misbelief is or flaw. Their inner goal is matched to that flaw or misbelief. So the inner goal is always to overcome the misbelief or flaw. That's a mirror image always. The outer goal is a mirror image of your premise. So your premise is something like, what would happen if mutant cicadas took over the world and ate all the food? The goal has to be to stop the cicadas from eating all the food in the world. 
Those two things have to mirror each other. Then the other thing that you know, uh, so you've got your uh, um, theme and message, misbelief, inner goal, outer goal, um, and you've got your premise. So of those things, let's say your, uh, your misbelief and your inner goal match up, your outer goal and your premise match up. Of all of those matchups, which one is most closely related to your theme or message? Do I need to say that again? Shoot me a note in the comments and I'll write it out for you if you need to hear that again. But these things match up really, really closely. Now, not all of the characters in your book will match up as closely as the alpha protagonist. The alpha antagonist will match up pretty closely, right? Because they aren't just getting in the way of your main protagonist. They want the same thing as your main protagonist. And that's why they're getting in the way. So I hope everybody is up to speed on Take Off Your Pants, because if you are, that will make sense. This, this method for working out who your alpha protagonist is, if you've got multiple POVs in a series that is not a multi-entry point series, we're not writing that kind of series. I know a lot of people in here write space opera, and they're writing the kind of series where a reader can come in at any point. We're not writing those kind of books. We're writing the kind of books where you have to start on book one, and you have to read through to understand the sequence of events. And in order to do that, you need to work out who your alpha protagonist is. And your alpha protagonist needs to have a misbelief that is closely related to how they are going to overcome the challenges they face while they are going for the outer goal. I really, really hope you read Take Off Your Pants because if you did this, it's 